Welcome to St. Stephen Lutheran Church in Williamsburg, Virginia. Our worship bulletin can be found on our website under worship and sermons. For those of you who have worship books at home, I will announce page and hymn numbers. Today is Pentecost. I trust that you're wearing your red pajamas this morning as you worship with us. <laughs> We pray that through God's word, sung and proclaimed and spoken, that you will know the winds and fire of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Our gathering hymn is number 402. Thank you. 
Let us pray. O oh God, on this day, you open the hearts of your faithful people by sending into us your Holy Spirit. Direct us by the light of that Spirit, that we may have a right judgment in all things and rejoice at all times in your peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Acts. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly, from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now that all there were devout Jews, Jews from every nation of the living, living in Jerusalem, and this sound, the crowd gathered together, 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 Residents of Mesopotamia, Dia and Anadosha, Pontus, parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and Pamphylia, and of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and of Cyrene, and of Jews and Protestants. Jews and Arabs, our own languages, one another, God is the power. Others feared and said, They are filled with new wine. They are filled with new wine. They are to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk as you suppose, for it's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days, it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, even upon my slaves, both men and women. In those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will show portents in the heaven above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of the Lord. Thank you to God. Oh, 
from 1 Corinthians. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, the discernment of spirits. To another, various kinds of tongues. And to another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same Spirit, who allots to each one individually, just as the Spirit chooses. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our gospel acclamation is found on page 124. <laughs> In the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, grace and peace be with you this day. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. This familiar saying takes on new and disturbing meaning this week, as we witness many such moments that have taken breath away. Today is Pentecost Sunday, the day we celebrate the Spirit of God given to we who are both sinner and saint. The Greek word for spirit also means breath. It is God who gives each of us God's holy breath. God's Spirit is life. Today is Pentecost Sunday, and while we think of the Holy Spirit, God's holy breath, as a peaceful, soft breeze, that's not what our text says. The Holy Spirit comes suddenly, like the rush of a violent wind. Fiery, divided tongues appeared above people's heads. The coming of the Holy Spirit was loud and chaotic and confusing like a Quentin Tarantino movie. 
those on whom the fire rested were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in various languages different than their native tongue. And despite the variety of speech, the people who had come from many other nations heard everyone speak in the language they understood. It must have sounded similar to them as did the reading of our text this day. This is the same Holy Spirit of God, this breath of life Paul writes of in his letter to the Corinthians. It manifests itself in the gifts given to us, gifts of wisdom and healing, knowledge, miracles and prophecy, discernment and speaking and interpretation. These gifts of the Spirit, Paul tells us, are given to us for the common good. What connects our reading from Acts and our reading from 1 Corinthians is the concept of our commonality. You see, even in our uniqueness, we are to be one. My hope is that in the midst of this pandemic that the Holy Spirit is showing us that around the world we are speaking the same language. We are speaking the language of love and loss, grief and illness, loneliness and fear. As people of many differences facing a common threat, my prayer was and still is that we recognize the humanity in one another. God's intent in sending the Holy Spirit is that we be one people, working for the benefit of all. This week has taken our breath away. We are far from being united. Health outcomes of the COVID virus that literally takes your breath away highlights our systemic differences. The co-director of the intensive care unit at a hospital in downtown Los Angeles, Dr. Zafia Ankleseria, is 35 years old and seven months pregnant with her first child. The hospital where she works serves lower income, Hispanic and African American populations. And the ICU has been at capacity since the end of March. The socioeconomic class that we serve, people tend to live in close quarter. They really don't have the privilege of good social distancing and they are tending to get more infected as a result, the doctor said. People living in the highest poverty areas of Los Angeles County are dying of COVID-19 at more than twice the rate of those in the wealthiest areas. This is not the only news this week that highlights life or death for the people of color. In Central Park on Memorial Day, African-American Christian Cooper was bird watching when he saw an unleashed dog in a plant bed. He offered the owner, Amy, a dog treat to lure her dog out of the garden and asked her to put a leash on the dog. He began video recording her from a distance on his cell phone. She is heard to say that she would call police and tell them there was an African-American man threatening her life. Not simply a man, but an African-American man. At that point, I was faced with a decision, Christian Cooper said. Do I capitulate to that attempt? to use race to leverage what she wanted? Or do I sort of stick to my guns and keep recording? I'm really kind of decided consciously, I'm not going to participate in my own dehumanization. Also on Monday, four police officers gathered around George Floyd after he was arrested for allegedly passing a counterfeit $20 bill at a convenience store. I don't know if Mr. Floyd even knew the bill was fraudulent. When the clerk discovered it, Floyd was already outside the store, so he called the police. 
what we know is that George Floyd did not resist arrest. Handcuffs kept his arms behind his back as he lay face down on the ground. And what we know is that at least one of the four police officers present knelt on George Floyd's neck for eight minutes as Floyd repeatedly said, I cannot breathe. For eight minutes, the breath of life left him and he suffocated. I can't breathe were also the last words of Eric Garner. And how ironic that the Greek word for spirit is breath. Garner, who was African-American, was put into a chokehold by white police as they arrested him and Garner's breath left him and he died. His alleged crime, which he denied committing, was selling single cigarettes from packs without tax stamps. That was in 2014. Six years later, we are here again. George Floyd, Tony McDade, Ahmed Arbery, Brianna Taylor, these are only some of those whose breath was unjustifiably taken from them. How long, O oh Lord, how long will we suffocate your holy breath? How long will we deny that we are one in our humanity? How long will we refuse to acknowledge that you have created us all black, white, brown, yellow, and rainbow colored, all created in your image. How long will we allow and participate in systems of injustice and dehumanization? On that first day, that first Pentecost day, the Holy Spirit came with wind and fire, disrupting the status quo. And out of that chaos, God gave birth to something new and holy. People who heard and understood those who were different than they were. On this Pentecost day, we pray for God's holy breath to disrupt us again. That we would use our deep grief and our anger to change systems that perpetuate injustice. Gracious Spirit, heed our pleading, fashion us all anew. In the name of Christ, giver of all grace, amen. The hymn of the day is number 401.
Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. God, breathe your spirit of resurrection and hope into those who mourn. We pray this day, especially for Nancy and her family on the death of her uncle, G. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. With full confidence in your love, almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your loving arms through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and also, also with you.
gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray the prayer our Lord and Savior taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God's breath stream within you. May God's breath renew you. May God's breath invigorate you and walk with you into this day. Amen. Amen.